In this tutorial I'm going to take you through some of the basics of Tinker, specifically how to set up Tinker so that it will work with a Makey Makey. Now I've obviously already signed up but if you want to sign up here you just click on here join for free but I'm going to sign in with my account and obviously um, you can set it up if you're a student, teacher or as a parent. Um, so I've set my class up um, as a under my teacher account so I'm going to click on here and I sign in with my Google account. It makes life an awful lot easier. So here's a dashboard loading up in Tinker. And the first thing I want to do is, I'm going to get rid of this, it's just authenticating, um, come down to my projects on the left hand side here. So I'm going to click on projects, and then the first thing I'm going to do is click on create, and I'm going to click a blank project. So here's the um, interface. I'm going to um, just delete all of this stuff here. So I'm just going to drag this out to the left hand side and get rid of it. I don't want any of that coding. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, and it really doesn't matter about the avatar when you're using Makey Makey because it's, um, well, in particular, in this particular instance, it's about sound. So um, again, just a quick look through here. Under each of these blocks here are a whole range of. Um, or these categories, sorry, are a whole range of blocks that you can use to feel coding. Um, and in a later tutorial, I'll go through these and when I make some other tutorials on how to use or some projects you can do with Tinker, I will um, take you through those. But for the purposes of this maker, uh, this Makey Makey um, activity, uh, we just need to click on the um, events button here and we need to drag out the, this when up arrow object four times because we're going to do stuff related to direction. So once I pull those out, I can click on each one of these and change them. So up arrow will stick with that. Obviously the opposite will be down arrow. We just click on these and the drop down list as you can see drops down. So we'll do left here and then right. And so obviously these um, blocks here would now will correspond to the inputs on the Makey Makey and in the activity I'm setting up that will make perfect sense for those of you who've got the other half of this activity. So what we're going to do now is go to the sound block and so come over to sound here and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do here and what we're going to do is drag out the play sound option. So again just drag that out four times, makes it nice and easy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clip those in and then we're going to record or assign some sounds to each of those key press functions. So that's the coding. That's, that's all the coding you need to do for this Makey Makey object, or this activity. Um, and what we need to do now is click on play sound. So let's click on here, play sound. And when you click on this, there is no sound. So we can click on add sound. Now, over here, you can obviously choose some whole bunch of things here, but I want to record something. So over here, we've got an option to upload a sound file if you've already pre-recorded that. And I prefer to do that because I like to use Audacity to make my recordings so I can trim them. But let's click on this object here. And so I'm going to click on record audio. So I need to click on allow. And so as soon as I do this, I click on record and it's recording my voice and I'm just going to say whatever I want to say and then I'm going to click stop the processes and click OK. Now here's my recording. So down here I didn't rename it but I can click on recording and that will when I press the left arrow let's see if it works click on play left arrow and it's recording my voice and I'm just going to say whatever I want to say and then I'm going to click stop. Right, so hopefully you heard that um, through my speaker, um, so through my microphone. So obviously I can just click on here again, I can add a sound and I can click record audio again, click allow, click record and this will be my second recording. So whatever you want to say with it, associated with each one of those um, objects, uh, those buttons, 
I'm going to be doing in my game um, directions. So when the right arrow is pressed, I'm going to record the word right. And when the left arrow is um, pressed, I'm going to record the word or the phrase left and so on. And so now to click on here, you will see recording one and recording two. Let's see if we can rename that. No, we can't. And so I'll just keep doing that until all of that is done. And that very simply, when associated with a Makey Makey, will allow you to have all kinds of creativity in the classroom just with those four functions.